It's the one mile six furlong coral app handicap now for horses rated up to 75. Set menu, Martin Leadham, the favourite going to post. Laredo Macy and Waiterborn uh, Cape for Danny. Transvix Turk, Ryan Costello. Evil Wind, Martin Leadham. Yeah, Noir, Alex Cherry. Mr. Underhill for Padraig Hogan. Infinity Obi-Wan and Sandy Now Spinner for Ryan Costello. So field of nine. Off and running here at Chepstow. 14 furlongs to travel. And it's Evil Wind that goes out into that early lead in those orange silks. Sandy now spinner for Ryan Costello in the familiar green and white over towards the rail. And set menu now just passes that one. And that was the favourite going to off for Martin Leadham. So that one now just racing in behind this very modest pace being set by Evil Wind. So they're going no real gallop at all here. And they're just bunched in behind this uh, early pace set of Evil Wind and Transfix Turk. Laredo Macy now moving up on the outside into second as well towards the very rear of the field. We've got Mr. Underhill, Infinity and Yen Noir. And so Evil Menu still holding on to the lead but looks like this one could develop into a bit of a tactical battle as none of these horses are really stretching out into this lead and setting a real strong gallop but evil menu has just picked up the pace ever so slightly now and uh, set menu just keen to not let it build up a really soft lead is just tracking in behind about a length behind in second place infinity on the outside of that one and uh, yeah noir is just in behind that one in fourth place laredo macy towards the center of the track just in front of mr underhill and the back three currently sandy now spinner way to born cape and transfix turk in Ryan Costello's secondary purple in yellow silks is the back marker with seven and a half furlongs to go. Back up to the front, it's still Evil Wind that has the lead. Length advantage still. Over set menu, Martin Leadham, Yen Noir, Alex Cherry, Infinity over towards the rail for Obi-Wan. Laredo Macy's still there in a share of third place and just pushed along for a stride or two to maintain that uh, placing ahead of Mr. Underhill and Yen Noir, but Evil Wind is now being ridden and is going to start trying to apply the pressure to these horses in behind as we come towards the five furlong marker. It's still Evil Wind that has the lead over set menu, travelling strongly in second place. Mr. Underhill on the outside of that one. Yen Noir and Laredo Macy. Laredo Macy is now being pushed along for a few strides. Waterborne Cape and Sandy now spinner travelling well and uh, moving forward into uh, contention. Transfix Turk and Infinity are the two at the rear of the field that look to be struggling so it's evil winds now that still has the lead and is being pushed along to really kick on and set for home but Laredo Macy looking a danger now on the outside as is Waterborne Cape those two are really coming to lay down a challenge but evil winds still has the lead and is going away again at front in the front has a good couple of lengths advantage over the pair in blue Waterborne Cape Laredo Macy set menu trying to get going for Martin Leadham but going into the final furlong, Evil Wind not stopping at front, really gamely holding on. Has it timed this right and does it still have enough energy into the final half of furlong? It's still Evil Wind. Waterborne Cape set menu now coming for home, but Evil Wind game as you like. Wins from start to finish. Nothing got past it. Evil Wind, a really good ride. Timed that really well. Got the pace judged absolutely perfectly and wins it from Waterborne Cape mounted a challenge for a good two furlongs on the outside but could just not get close enough to Evil Wind a really good win for Martin Leadham in the, the orange silks I've not seen for his stable before so Evil Wind wins it Waterborne Cape in second for Danny set menu third the other Martin Leadham runner four Laredo Macy in fifth Mr Underhill for Padraig Hogan